with regards to uh, girls going to college and mixed education and so on first of all let me make it very clear I'm completely pro girls education and this is something not new not odd in Islam no education does not make distinction in Islam between men or women and if women are not educated it's a dilemma and it, it, it causes it's like a person who's limping men and women have to get educated both on equal basis but with the proper Islamic etiquette and rules and regulations uh, if there is a school uh, only for girls then a girl should only go to the school the girls school and it is very interesting that it is a new trend in America that they have nowadays and it's booming only girls school girls college but in Muslim countries some professors who return after studying in the West in some countries when they see the girls are sitting on one side and boys are sitting on one side they order them to mingle together and to mix up these evil guys were trying to spread uh, 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 mischief amongst the community do not understand that they are putting fire next to uh, fuel why because this is what the Prophet ﷺ said and this is normal this is something normal when a boy is sitting next to a girl I taught in American universities I taught in high schools but here and there and I have seen when somebody is preoccupied even away from religion preoccupied with his girl or girlfriend next to him there is the least concentration in the study for us we don't look at it only from this perspective we look at it instead from a religious perspective it is not permissible for a boy to sit next to a girl who is not lawful for him even when the Prophet ﷺ gave the Nisa women their bay'ah was sitting standing on as safa and Umar al Khattab was sitting beneath as safa or on its border the Prophet ﷺ gave the verbal bay'ah to women and accepted it from them and said inni la usafihu nisa I do not shake hands with women and ma masat yaduhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yada mra'atin qat never touched a woman's hand who is not lawful for him nor was she uh, his wife so segregation or having dedicated places for girls and dedicated places for boys is the Islamic uh, etiquette whether with regards to study, education, even in the Salah the Prophet ﷺ appointed a door in the masjid he said this door is for women only women should enter and or may enter and exit from this uh, door and men used to wait for a while until women would evacuate uh, the masjid likewise that should be the setup if we fail to have complete campus or schools like in Al-Azhar University some universities in uh, like in, in, in Medina for instance in Mecca uh, uh, separate education this is the best this is the best if you fail if there are this uh, learning where you can obtain the same degree where you can really study that's another uh, alternative okay may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us what we don't know and help us to act upon his deen